a family of seven. We are traveling around the world with our five kids. All under the age of 11. We are called the Seven Wayfinders. We sold and packed everything and left in order to find our new life. Deep into the wild. Right now, I will throw them all away, and I will not. Hi, these. We're paying for extra luggage service, and I think it's the best. He's fast. He's way fast. Grant, go, 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 go. Okay, we're in the waiting area. Our train leaves in. 20 minutes, so I'm kind of curious at what point we actually get on. But we have an attendant, so I don't think we're missing anything. All these other people are just sitting around. Here. Grace is so cute and popular that she gets given food all the time. <laughs> Which is actually really cute. I walk back and she's just eating it by her crackers. I'm like, where's this from? <laughs> Start asking the people around us. So someone finally fesses up it was them. Oh yeah, it was me. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Did you eat face? Good Bam Bam. Already lost the children with the guy. Close. They actually cut it a little close. Okay. Right, Dad. Okay. What do you think? This is like awesome. Look at this room, this space. Look how much leg room. Show us your legs. Oh, oh I can barely oh, that's 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 touch the end. And you have a foot rest. If I needed it. Seriously. <laughs> what are you guys doing right now? Talk about world school. School on a train in China. Grayson, other people on this train don't want to hear your dinosaur, so can you do us quiet anything? Yes. That's much better. Oh. Alright, say bye bye. Here, Harry, say. On our way to Xi'an. On our way to Xi'an. To Xi'an. To Xi'an. Say goodbye, Beijing. Goodbye, Beijing. I don't see the speedometer right now. They have a speedometer up here. It's usually around 300 kilometers an hour. Incredible. And this one's the same. And so is that one. really needs to pull a wayfinder right now. Welcome to another day of the Seven Wayfinders. We are in Xi'an, China. I uh, just got on our electric vehicle to go see the Terracotta Warriors. Awesome. How you doing, baby? I'm awesome, thanks. You doing great? I'm so excited to see the Warriors. <laughs> so, so excited. Is this what you wanted to see the most? Or just on the top yeah, of the list? Yeah, the most. The wall, it was like Terracotta Warriors, the wall, the Forbidden City, like, <laughs> pretty awesome. What's amazing being here in China is um, we now we'll see two world wonders in a week. Where else can you do that in one country that are basically four hours apart? Like, that's incredible. So there's just so much. Xi'an, the city that we're in right now, is basically the oldest city in China and is over 3,000 years of history. It's just incredible. So that's why the Terracotta Warriors are here. We've learned that we will see three pits. They've excavated about 10, but there are over 600. So there's also dancers, and performers, and cooks, all made out of terracotta. Just incredible. She looks great. She looks happy as a clam. She looks happy as a daddy pig. <laughs> dead, oh, a dead pig? Oh, I thought it was a dad pig. Dead pig, that's even better. <laughs> so explain that, honey. What's the dead pig? So in China, they don't say 
Uh, they don't say that you're. You slept like a you baby. slept like a baby, or you slept like a log, because you know babies don't really sleep. really sleep that well. They say I slept like a dead pig. <laughs> Pretty deep sleep. Our guy told us to be aggressive. of the well where the farmers first dug and found all of this. If they dug any farther, all of them would have fallen apart. That's crazy. If he would have dug even, if they would have dug the well even a little farther over, all of them would be broken. There would be no intact warriors, he said. This is unburied still. It's pretty amazing that there's 600 pieces and they've only uncovered 10. 10. And there's a bazillion warriors in here. This thing, there's probably over like 10 million warriors. Think of how many people it took to build it. And they were building the Great Wall at the same time, Lucy. Yeah, yeah no, for real. The same emperor ordered the Great Wall also. Why would he order both things at once? Because he's like a god. Like, like that's what he he feels like. Like he is the son of he's the son of God, son of heaven. This is the deepest pit. We are going to see the bronze chariots, which are really like jewelry chariots for this burial site. Should we make a warrior? Okay. We're gonna go make our own warrior. You can get your own life size when ship in the United States for two thousand dollars. It's like legit, made out of terracotta clay. Fun foods, lots of really cool stuff. This is the birthplace of Muslim Chinese. Like it's over a thousand years old. Pretty cool. And we found out the 
official fruit of Xi'an is the pomegranate. So there's pomegranate trees that are flowering. Look how cute these kids are. Oh my gosh, you're so cute. Check out this fruit. Did you pick that all out, Lucy? Mm -hmm. You could take the money and the diamond rings Cause I know without you they don't mean a thing That's right For all my life Just you and I Brighter than the stars from my window paint Warmer than the morning on a summer's boom. day Boom, 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 boom we have upgraded from Jaxi Chef Confessionals to train bullet train confessionals. Bullet train confessionals. In China. I've got a problem, guys. I want my own bullet train. Like I'm, like I'm literally sitting on the platform and I see this really sweet bullet train pull up and I'm like, I gotta get me one of these. Anyway, we've been in China now for a week. Day, I believe, and it's been a little rough. The sights to see have been incredible, but our personal life has been a little bit of a mess. We had a major medical crisis, crisis again, Harrison. We had our staff out for our business and have been passing around some kind of horrible virus, possibly what Harrison had. Everyone's got different symptoms. We kind of wonder if it's the swine flu. Like, legit, these are the things that are happening right now. But we just said goodbye to everyone today. We're back on our own family time. And we're headed to go see pandas. So. Everybody was kung fu fighting. The panda, 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 That's pandas. That's pretty cool. I was telling Lucy while we were walking into the train station, I can distinctly remember one year ago at the beginning of our trip in Denver, we went to a museum. This music is like getting louder and louder. We went to a documentary at a museum and pandas were in it. And I was like, Lucy, in a year, we'll be there. We'll be seeing that. And it felt like lifetimes away. Forever. And we're on our way right now. So I think we see them tomorrow, actually. It's either tomorrow or the day after that we go meet pandas. <laughs> We are using a tour company and really like it. It's been nice, it's been a nice break to not have to like keep all the logistics in our minds. We can kind of just be like, oh, we go over here? Okay. Yeah, what time do we have to get up? Oh. Oh, we can be the ones that complain. Oh, oh. I don't want you to have that early. Okay. That's so early. Yeah. Set alarms. We don't love setting alarms to get up. It's like a cuss word. Oh, we saw the Great Wall of China. Yeah. We saw the Terracotta Warriors. Yeah. We've just seen amazing things. China's very rich. We've changed our perception on China completely. I was just saying to Chris in the waiting area, I haven't seen a single person be annoyed by our kids. They can uh, be in a hurry, like they're going by quickly, but they love children. They do. Uh, like I thought, I thought like Thailand loves children, which they do, but like, they adore children. And when Harrison had his medical issue, they like prized their children above all else. Mom, I just saw a, 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 a dinner thing. I think it's just a snack thing. Maybe we'll get one if you sit down. But you won't come back. We're the first ones in line. She'll come right back. We're in the first car. So he immediately sits down. I love it. We, of course, literally just came from lunch. I don't know what to do. I'm about this close to packing a refrigerator. I'm ready to just use just intravenous fluid. Like, have like a continuous like pump. It. I just fill it up in the morning and they never say they're hungry all day long. Like, I'm I'm about there. Seriously. I feel like it's out Travel. of control. Travel food. Travel food. Seriously. <laughs> like, you can just keep going. The only thing you can't supplement is sleep. Yeah. Anyway, this is our 15 year anniversary, you guys. Hey! It's kind of a big deal because it's our 15 year anniversary this year, and then the month after is our 10 year anniversary for, for our, our business. business. Yes. And we're still married. And we've survived it all. And we've traveled for a full year now with five children. What? So it's 1, 10, 15. Boom! We gotta make up something about 20. I'll show you some of the views.
Please save me again 